The 2023 Consumer Electronics Show, CES, has just wrapped up and I have some updates from NVIDIA after trying out some of the new updates myself at the show in Las Vegas. First up, we got to try the monstrous mobile RTX 1490 with ADA architecture. Now, RTX 1490 itself isn't new to the desktops users and gamers, but this time it's coming to mobile laptops like 14 inch laptops from February. To me, this is incredible because the laptops we tested were able to keep up with the thermals whilst delivering all that we know about the RTX 1490 and what it can offer. The graphics are smooth and when even hooked up to multiple monitors in a rig for motor racing, it was able to handle the whole experience with no issues at all. We can expect 60 frames per second surround gaming at 4K, 3D collaboration at seamless 4K 60 frames per second in Nvidia's Omniverse and up to two times faster video exports. It comes with 9,728 CUDA cores, a boost clock of up to 2,040 megahertz and 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. So come February, we'll begin to see more laptops featuring the RTX 1490 mobile, especially in the 14 inch form factor. So with this, you'll be able to carry this powerhouse with you anywhere you wanna go and also hook it up to external monitors for more productivity. I also had plenty of demos to the RTX 4070 Ti powered devices, but this is just a 12 gigabyte RTX 4080 in disguise with the same 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory. And this will have shader execution reordering and DLSS 3. Nvidia showed a lot of comparisons with the RTX 3090 Ti with DLSS 2, and you can see big improvements in frame rates in games like Cyberpunk with the new RT Overdrive while remaining cool on the heavy workload. The one that really blew my mind though is the new GeForce Now platform update. Nvidia will be replacing the current RTX 3080 plan with a subscription that uses RTX 4080. What does this mean for you? You get 4K gaming at 240Hz and DLSS 3 in the cloud. As I said, this one really blew my mind as it means playing games in the cloud, providing you have a good internet speed on non-gaming computers and laptops like the N1 Mac Mini or a Surface laptop that isn't designed for gaming in the first place. The new plan will start rolling out in late January, depending on your region, with the existing RTX 3080 subscribers getting an upgrade for free at the same $19.99 per month. Another cool development is with NVIDIA's broadcast tool, which uses AI to keep your eye in focus. When it works well, even in low light environments, it was able to make my eye look in focus, like I'm still keeping eye contact, even though my eyes were closed. This could be very useful when I have really tired eyes when I have video meetings. So it would be interesting to see how this one actually work in the real world. Elsewhere, Nvidia showed off how their new graphics card can empower creators in the graphics design field with real-time universe creation or being able to render graphics almost in real time with no hiccups and it's truly impressive. It works really well with no lag, no latency issues, and it just looks really cool. Besides all of those updates, you also be getting some new games coming to DLSS 3, which is really cool. And there's some updates to video super resolution coming to Google Chrome. And also we're gonna be getting stuff with robotics and car stuff, and especially coming to Polestar. We'll talk about that when we do car related things. But for now, those are the things that I found really cool from my demo with Nvidia. Over to you, let me know what you think in the comments below and if you have any questions, drop them there as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.